socially inept, yes. Um, my first conversation with him, <clears throat> at, at one point we thought that um, Stargate was going to be canceled. Uh, the, I, I think it was the first, yeah, I know it was eventually. Um, so the original plan was that uh, Amanda and I were going to go over to, to um, Atlantis. So, to get to know Flanagan, the, uh, Brad and, and Rob and arranged a, a golf outing for us. And so it was a, it was a bit awkward. Um, Atlantis was a, a much different show, like behind the scenes than we were. We, 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 SG-1 was a pretty loose ship. And, uh, and Atlantis wasn't. They, they were a bit more serious and, and, and things like that. So, uh, it was a bit awkward between me and Flanagan because, uh, you know, we had been hurling insults at him for quite a while. And uh, in this awkward silence, the first thing he says to me is, um, so, did you play much polo growing up? It's <laughs> like, that's your icebreaker? I'm a black dude from L.A. <laughs> Did I play much polo growing up? And I said, no, but I used to throw rocks at white people. <laughs> so it really did. It took maybe a year, year and a half for me to actually get to know him. And, and he really is. He, he's, he, he really is a funny, smart, uh, smart dude. It just, it just takes a while to kind of get through the richness, <laughs> the wealth, the Kennedy-esque-ness of Joe. But no, I, he, he's, he's a great guy. 